Well, hey, handy people, Dan here. Hey, um, today we've got a gorgeous day in Michigan. It's uh, just about 60 degrees. Uh, it's sunny, it's dry. The, uh, we've got a breeze, a little breeze to it. And it's a perfect day. So I thought, well, you know, you can see in the background, we've got some logs I've been cutting up. Uh, we did some tree work. Uh, but that's not what I want to show you today. I want to show you how I'm finishing my rims. So come on. So the weather today is, is absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got them uh, taped and wrapped with plastic to cover the tires. But uh, I just got done spraying the color coat, which is, uh, it's like an anthracite. And I don't know if we can pick that up very well with my camera because of the lighting, but uh, yeah, these guys came out pretty good. Perfect No, I did a lot of sanding with 320 uh, wet uh, sanding to uh, feather all the chips and everything and try to make them as perfect as possible. But uh, eh, they're not perfect, but boy, they sure look nice. They're very stinky right now, so I'm glad I'm outside and I'm glad the wind's blowing. But, uh, oh yeah, I think this is gonna look a lot more like anthracite, which is uh, better than that oil bronze that I had on here. That oil bronze was just a little dark for my taste. I think these should look really good and I'll be clear coating them. Let me show you the products that I used. It's really basic. Um, the first one was this Fusion uh, metallic finish. Uh, metallic dark metal is the is the color. Um, it's a pretty neat product, and literally used only one can to cover all those rims. And I sprayed the insides of the barrels too with it. So I mean, I, it's pretty good. Um, so one can, I bought I bought more than one. I bought like four cans, but then I got, uh, I'm gonna coat it with the same paint. It's a Krylon Fusion and it's a gloss clear. So that's what's going on once my uh, timer goes off. I gave it uh, 15 minutes between the last color coat and the next uh, coat, because it dries to touch in 20. So I thought, well, just before it dries to touch, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it and uh, try to make uh, make these a little bit glossier. Oh yeah. tell you this uh, has been a good little project uh, these these rims have come out nice and uh, man all I got to say is uh, you know I've probably got I don't know maybe four hours into this project start to finish and that's everything including cleaning the rims sanding them uh, cleaning the tires and then taping them off and then and then painting them 
painting goes really quick and it's very, very, very satisfying. Hey, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It, it really helps the channel and uh, I'll keep the content coming.